Because I was filming a video and she side busted him. I'm sorry, I was coming in here to get it after her. That's all good. I repeat, like I said, in take one, this is take two, that I did not want to comment or talk about this at all. Um, especially if it came up to me because I commented on this a couple of times. Um, the sad part about this is not just the fact that the man died. That's, that's stupid to think that's not the sad part about this. But the sad part about this whole thing is how can two people be holding you down and you be shot? Um, when I see how these officers was surfboarding, that's what I call it surfboarding, on this man's back, it reminded me of the time that we was all hanging out in front of my friend's house. And they was all older than me, and they was drinking, and we had our buzz on. And these fools was playing WWF. Yes, World Wrestling Federation in the front yard. The police pulled up, and I'm like, these guys are just out here wrestling. Ain't nobody fighting. Never call the cops. Three black guys fighting. Now... You know just as well as I do, if three guys are fighting in front of somebody's house, they ain't going to be fighting in front of the house for 20, 30 minutes, breaking up and going back at it again. So the police pull up and the police officer start asking questions. I'm like, man, ain't nobody doing nothing. These fools are wrestling. We just watched WrestleMania on, on cassette, some whatever. And these fools out here wrestling and I'm the referee. What's your name? told him my name. I'm like, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no warrants. I ain't got nothing. I ain't done nothing. Nobody's out here doing anything, officer. You can leave. This is how I grew up. We spoke to the police like this in the town called Ray Rodeo. I said Rodeo. I was about to say Rodeo. Rodeo. And in Rodeo, a lot of people say Rodeo. Rodeo, you know, you tell the police officer what's going on, they look at the situation and leave. If some guys are fighting. Somebody going to be bleeding or something. Let me go on back to this other story. So the police officer jumped on me. You're going to jail. I don't like your attitude. And the guy told me that there was two police officers standing on my back. And one of them was pulling my arms back. And the other guy stood over in front of me. There's two guys literally standing on me. One guy's holding my arms up. And another guy, the third cop, is putting handcuffs on a man that weighs 162 pounds because he said he's not going to jail because he hadn't done anything. What was said to these young people at the BART station? I've been in that same BART station. I lived in the Bay Area. I've been on those BART trains. I've seen the BART police. And I know you got a bunch of people in arrest mode. That brings me to another story here when I first moved to Santa Rosa, California. Now we had left out the house to go get some beer and I'm walking down the street, me and two or three of my other brothers. We just go into the store to get a beer and I look over to the side of the ground and right there is a knife, a fucking Ginsu knife. And I picked the knife up, put it in my pocket. I didn't think nothing of it. We kept on walking get to the store, get the beer, and walk out of the store, a cop allegedly saw the knife in my back pocket. And it lined us all up in the street. Not on the sidewalk, but in the street. Right where traffic can come by. Put your hands from your back. What is this knife for? I found this knife on the ground on the way to the store. You found it? You telling me you found a kitchen knife on the ground and I told the officer to his face what makes you think that I would walk out the house and before I left the house I grab a kitchen knife to defend myself I would defend myself with the elements around me I don't like your fucking attitude you need to fucking go to jail for talking to somebody for, for speaking back and there have been several occasions in my life where just talking back and still fearing somebody. Just because you have a gun and a badge, I'm supposed to fear you. See, 
This ain't the wild, wild west when the sheriff comes riding into town. Everybody better be scared of breaking the law because the sheriff will bust your ass. I give a fuck about the goddamn law. And the sheriff, if I'm not breaking the law, you on my side. If I'm not doing nothing wrong, you work for me. Why in the fuck should I be scared of the law? So when they had me on the ground with my hands behind my back in the middle of the street, humiliating me, brings me to another situation. I'm on my way to my father's house. I just hurt my wrist, and at the job, they put me on light duty. Got a wrist brace on. I'm wearing my Bill Cosby Deluxe sweater. Got my slacks on. Pull up in my raggedy ass Jaguar. But before I got to the house, I drove past a police officer. Think nothing of it. Looked at him. He cut his lights on. Pulls me over in the driveway at the house. Right at my house. Get out the car. I'm not getting out the car. Because I don't have to get out of the car. You're giving me a hard time. I'm searching this fucking car. For what? I just got off work. I'm coming to see my father, man. You got bad tags. I'm pulling you over because you're bad tags. You didn't pull me over because of my tags. I looked at you in your eyes before you cut on the lights. Do I think that this police officer was scared for his life? No. Do I think this police officer knew what he was doing? Yes. Do I think this police officer thought about what he was doing before he did it? No. Do I think this police officer's life brought him to this point to where as he pulled his gun out and shoot an innocent person with someone holding him down? Yes. I think stress, fear, disrespect, and lack of training cost this man his life. And this is a situation I did not want to touch. The video camera died on me seven minutes into the video. I don't think this is going to finish processing. So right now I'm talking for nothing with the hopes that maybe this video makes it. But once again, society is shutting a man off. Short. You've been too. It made his police officer's conscience be his judge. Maybe the fact that his kids have to live in this world will be his judge. And maybe God herself will come down and slap the shit out of him a few times and say one phrase. What the fuck were you thinking? You have been tubed. And may God help John Burris win this case. And may the family of this man, not his brothers and sisters, not his mother and father, may his child understand that his life was not lived for nothing. He did not die for nothing. Maybe his child will have the opportunity to have the life that the father never will be able to finish out. May the child of this man have a better future than the future laid out for her father. 